Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint Jigsaw from the Saw movie. You guys already know, it's October. It is time for spooky Halloween nails. So here is one of many. So sit back and watch me paint Saw. Let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna use White Bliss Liner Gel to sketch out his head. First, I am mapping out where I'm gonna be starting um, the head. So I decided to start from the bottom up. So here I am drawing the chin and then I'm bringing it up towards the cheek area. As you can see, I added two round circles on the sides. Those are his cheeks and then I just connected it all. Now I'm filling it in. After that, I'm going to drag that color down while it's wet and create the neck. You want to think of a triangle. I'm just bringing it down like this, nothing crazy. Right after that, I'm grabbing my shadow effects gel and I am sketching out his body. For the rest of this tutorial, I am using mostly my graphic liner. I use this brush for everything. It's literally my favorite. And yeah, here I am sketching out his body. I didn't want to show you guys how I do it all the way because it would probably will make this video a lot longer. But if you want, you can pause this video and use this part as a reference. So after that, I went ahead and I colored it in in black. All right, so since the nail is super long, it gives us enough room to add more stuff to it. So I decided to use Red Slippers Liner Gel. I'm going to add one line right here, right in between his legs. I'm curving it towards the bottom and then adding another line like this. I am now outlining his chin and I'm also outlining the cheeks and the rest of his head. As you can see, now that we finally got the base down, we are now just going to start doing the details. You want to make sure that your lines are fine and skinny, not too thick. On the right side of his head, I will begin by doing his hair. Um, you don't want to be like too perfect with this. Just add a whole bunch of random lines going down like this. Going back in with Red Slippers Liner Gel, I am going to use that to draw the lips. For the lips, you don't want to make it too big. Try to keep it right below the cheek area. Using that same color, I'm going to create the little spirals on his cheeks. And then after that, we cannot forget the bow on his neck area. Later on, you're going to want to outline this along with adding buttons on his shirt. Next, I'm going to use Shadow Effects Gel and I am mapping out where the eye socket is going to be. Don't forget to add the brow lines right at the top of that. I'm dragging that color down like this. I'm starting to create the nose and then taking another little small dot right next to it. You want to add random little lines going across his forehead. This is going to be the wrinkles. Going back in with that red color, we're going to create the eyes. It's just two circles right inside of the eye socket. Create another small circle in black and then add highlights right on top of that in white. Now for this part, you wanna take a sheer white color. If you don't have one, you can mix white with um, a clear top coat. Use that to add random lines right here on the shoulders, creating the arms. I used that same color to create the color, but I did that off camera. I didn't want this video to be too long. And now with a regular white gel, I'm going to draw the hands. We are finally finishing off the rest of the bicycle details. I'm now creating the tires. I first started off with the one in the back and now I'm creating the front with a silver metallic gel. You want to just add a line going across on the top of the bicycle. This is going to be the handles. And you guys, <laughs> look at here. We're like literally done. And here I am adding my favorite matte top coat, you guys. I will be putting this on my website soon. 
You want to make sure that your matte top coat does not smear your artwork. We don't want that over here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't want this to be super long, um, which is why I only recorded myself painting Jigsaw. If you guys would like to see more longer detailed um, tutorials, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys give it a like and I will see you on my next video. Bye!